What up Virgo Legacies, welcome back to the channel. Let's get straight into your reading. We're gonna be taking a look at your past, your present, your future, your love life, your mental health, okay? This is gonna be for Virgo, Earth sign, right? Your quality is mutable. You're also in the sixth house and your connections are work and health, okay? This is gonna be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Please keep in mind that not everything I say may resonate and what does not resonate for you may resonate for someone else. Spirit, what does Virgo need to know? Mm, the Six of Cups. Interesting, right? A sense of pleasure in more ways than not, right? There's a sense of nostalgia being placed here. There's memories, right? You're healing, right? You're getting a sense of closure from a previous relationship. You're finally disconnecting, right? The sentimentality of what or, or like of what you had for that person is no longer there. Right? This is your tr first true love, Virgo. Someone you were deeply, passionately in love. This is in your past position. So first tier is gonna be past, middle is present, and third is going to be your future. Okay? Spirit, tell me more for the past for Virgo. The Knight of Cups. Okay, the seducer. <laughs> this is the urban uh, tarot, by the way. It's a modern take on tarot. So with the Knight of Cups, right, this person that you had in your past, this past lover, right, super charming, was very artistic, graceful, right? He's idealistic, romantic, but he was also very deceptive, okay? He was a seducer. He was really able to bring you in, almost like a narcissist. He was casting out his line and railing you in, right? Had you wrapped around his finger. If you look closely, right, there's a crab here. Her drink is being spiked. It's being tainted, right? This is this energy of someone trying to deceive you right the sense of unfaithfulness very lustful energy here from your past lover not so much love but lust spirit tell me more for virgo okay queen of cups yeah you had to do some serious work right with the queen of cups you had to heal yourself right you had to seek a therapist you had to be compassionate. You had to learn to be compassionate with yourself. When you were with this person, right, you were their supply. They were a totally, total narcissist, right? They made you think things that you weren't actually believing or thinking or saying or even feeling, but they were so convincing that it really mind fucked you, Virgo, right? It made you doubt yourself. You had to gain a therapist and really talk it out with someone, right? Let it out all on the open. It wasn't until you did that that you, were, that you realized how toxic of a relationship you were in, right? Now you're, now, I mean, I mean, as you grew through this past cycle, right? You really did a good job in replacing that toxicity with a sense of peace, like with the koi fish here swimming at the bottom, right? It's almost like you were drowning yourself in your own problems. Koi fish were even comfortable in your uncomfortable. Spirit, tell me more for Aquarius. We have the Wheel of Fortune here, okay? So, it's almost like you use this past relationship as a learning lesson to really start spinning on your correct divine timing, okay? I like this for you because it shows that you have the ability to grow, right? To persevere. This is your destiny, this is your good luck, right? This person was a karmic part of a relationship for you. It's in the past, right? Your fate and your fortune has changed. Your soulmate has changed, right? You have someone new coming in, Virgo. You're also within your crown chakra here. Okay, we have the Ace of Wands, look at that. 
okay, this is your inspiration, right? You've used this creative spark from your past. You really changed the narrative and you took back that pain, Virgo. So now you're enthusiastic, you're confident, you have this newfound passion and energy to pursue new creative projects, endeavors, and really, you know, commit to them, right? Execute them with perfection. Tell me more for Virgo, please, Spirit. Oh, look, what did I say? You have a new soulmate coming in. Okay, this is the lover's card. This is true union, true love here, right? Love at first sight in some sense. This is that perfect love. This is that real soulmate that you've been seeking for, that union, that partnership, right? This is where you start making major choices together as a team, as a partnership. You have shared values and there's a sense of kindred spirits between both of you. Strong, strong ties here with the Ace of Wands to the left and the Princess of Wands to the right in reverse, right? This is twin flame energy. Let's look at the Princess of Wands in reverse for you, okay? This person seems to be a little arrogant and patient in some ways, slightly haste, right? A sense of frustration, domineering, a little reckless, right? really loves he or she really loves to live life you know to the fullest right they really live life as if it were their last day it seems that they balance you out in some ways right it's like you're more a little more reserved virgo right you have the capability to be outgoing if you wish but only with the right people right it's like i feel like you thrive in singlehood because you also enjoy right being in control, which is why I find it interesting that you were in this narcissistic relationship where, right, you were the victim, right? And how it's almost like having this therapy, like, revalued you, remind you of your worth and your true power. So the fact that you're stepping back into love as of recently, okay, this just happened within the last weeks, months. You know, if you've met anyone new, Virgo, this is most definitely your twin flame. Now that you're in this relationship, you have this sense of questioning, is this, you know, what I really want, right? This is something that I've wanted, but now that it's here, do I really want this? I feel like I'm not in full control as I was when I was single, right? Because now you're making choices together as a team. Okay, we're taking a turn. <laughs> Quick skirt, skirt, pump the brakes, right? The death card here. So what's, this is the spiritual transformation that you're about to have, right, in the present. This is your new beginnings, right? This is you letting go of these endings, right? It's you transitioning and, you know, there's a sense of up, there's a sense of upping, of rising, right? This isn't, look at this deck though. Like you see the clock, there's no time, there's no hands within the clock. It's just like time has been frozen, right? And it's almost like you had a slow moving picture film to play the record through of your past, right? Frame by frame by frame, right? Really breaking it down, right? Slowing, pause, reverse. You really wanted to take a look at your total past because what you're seeking here, Virgo, is justice, right? We have justice in the reverse position. Justice is in the reverse here because there's a little work that you need to do, right? The work here is that, is there anything that you've been dishonest with yourself about, Virgo? Because I'm hearing spirits say that there's a lack of accountability on your part. It's almost like you're trying to like retribute this karmic relationship that you had in the past right don't bring in that karmic energy from your past relationship and those fears and insecurities into this connection that you have currently virgo spirit tell me more for virgo okay we have the hermit card here good energy in a sense Right, this is that spiritual enlightenment. You were transitioning, you wanted to be more spiritual and you got it right with the enlightenment. You will search you were soul searching in ways, right? You were reflecting in self. You were really digging deep, right? You had this metaphor of like that you're really digging your own grave in a sense, right? But you changed, right? 
you may find like a lot of self-reflection and in solitude like virgo you really enjoy your alone time right this is that inner guidance that you have right the ability to introspect really look within yourself and decipher and use discernment right from your past to the present to the future spirit tell me more for the present for virgo oh Oh, uh, Empress energy. You could have your eyes on an Empress, on a Libra, a Taurus, right? They're a total Libra for here, for show, for show here with the Wheel of Fortune uh, followed by the Empress. It's like you admire this person, this Libra, this Taurus, you look up to them, but there's also this sense of almost like a little jealousy in some ways, Virgo, because this is followed by the star card, right? This is someone that you may see competitive. I don't see this being like the person that, that you like or are in a relationship with. This could also very well be some type of new love interest. It seems that you like kind of question everyone as in, do they like me? Do I like them, right? You have a sense of, it seems like you have trauma and abandonment and neglect so when you get the twin flame or soulmate energy Virgo, you tend to want to um, destroy it. Especially with the justice card here and the Empress, that's a double like Libra energy right there for you. Give me more for the present, please, spirit. Okay, this is followed by the six of wands in reverse, okay? So what do you not feel victorious about, right? There's something that you've been upset about. It's almost like whatever you perceived this Libra to be, right? It's like you place judgment on them and now you've realized that, right? There's so much more. There's so many more layers to Libra, to the Taurus here. It could also be an Aquarius here, Virgo with the star card. I feel like this person is pushing away though now, right? It's like, it's almost like they might have been open to it before, but the more that they've spent time around you, they've realized that it's not practical for them, right? With the Knight of Discs. This is good, right? Because you have something to focus on. Like, don't let your wandering eyes, you know, take you to something that perhaps you know, seems really beautiful, rainbows and butterflies on the outside, but is it because the Libra is beauty, because the Libra is attractive, right? Because the beauty, because the Libra is uh, love, right? Why is it that you're chasing this when you have love, Virgo? Seems like you're confused here. Yeah, see, cards don't lie. You're confused about the love with the two of cups, right? You're with someone, okay? You're with someone toxic in the past. You're kind of with someone now that could be your twin flame soulmate energy. But so you have someone in mind, right, presently, someone that you thought about last year, who you think about presently, and who you seem to really view as a star in the future. So this is what's confusing for you in love. The High Priestess, yeah. Trying to gain a little more sense of spirituality, right? Intuition, Virgo. Your inner voice is telling you, right? That there's a higher power, there's a spirituality. There's this thirst for knowledge that you want, right? You wanna be more creative, you wanna be more innovative. But it seems like something about your spirituality or maybe your religion is withholding you from really expressing who you truly are as a person here, Virgo. What are you holding back? The universe in reverse. Wow, look at all this major arcana in your future position. There's a lot of potential here, but there's also a lot of self-doubt. Okay, this is the world in the traditional tarot, right? You're, you're seeking success. You want to achieve, right? You want to feel accomplished. You want to be able to travel. 
you want to complete this career of yours, right? You want to seek that fulfillment and a sense of belonging. So tell me more for the future. Yeah, Prince of Wands here. You being courageous, you're charming. You have the sense of free spirit, right? You want to be a hero in some ways. But are you being your own hero or are you trying to be the hero for someone else? Change, sudden changes. Wow. I'm foreseeing you leaving this lover here of yours. It's like you're self-sabotaging this connection and you're chasing this Libra here. It seems like this Libra, this Libra's goals are more oriented to who you are as a person. And that's why you wanna align yourself to this path, this destiny, because it's something that you've always wanted and dreamed about, right? Could be a Libra, an Aquarius, maybe even a Gemini, I'm strongly feeling an air sign. We have the cherry in reverse, and then we end it with the three of wands. Okay, sorry about the noise. Um, so we have the cherry here, right? In reverse. What's lacking here, right? Right. What do you feel that's that has no control, like you're powerless, right? That like you have these obstacles placed, what's feeling forceful here, right? Because then it's then it's all or followed by the three of wands, right? Which is this momentum, this confidence of growth, right? You're looking ahead, you're really gaining or wanting leadership. But there again, there's a sense of self-doubt, right? We have justice in reverse, right? you know? We have so many cards in reverse here. The universe, you know, the chariot, the six of wands in reverse. The Prince of Wands in reverse. There's a lot of self-doubt here with you, Virgo. It seems like no matter what you do, you're interfered, right? With the Eight of Swords. Like you're trapped from your past. You're restricted, right? You feel victimized, like paralyzed in some ways. Like things are stagnant for you. It's like you gain this step forward and then, right, you're like ready to take that next indicated step with the world's card, but then you have this interference again. All right, Virgo. If this message resonated, please give this video a big thumbs up. Um, at the end of each week, I will be choosing at random one lucky winner to get a free personal reading. Right to qualify for this, you have to fill four requirements, well, which I will be checking. One, obviously subscribe or already be a subscriber. Number two, like this video. Number three, comment. And number four, clip and share. Okay. Comment if you comment, you know, let me know what resonates. Timestamp the portion of this video. That's essentially what you're doing with the clipping part, right? Um, also, if you have any song suggestions that you resonate with, leave them down in the comment section so that I can throw them up in the community board because I want every person within this channel to have a voice here, okay? With that being said, Virgo, do not forget to live out your best look. Oh,